This video will describe the thoracic pump theory and demonstrate the physiology of cardiopulmonary resuscitation. In this model, the container represents the thoracic cavity, the pink balloon represents the heart, and the green balloons represent the lungs. The thoracic pump theory essentially states that as CPR is being performed, the rescuer compresses the sternum, thereby decreasing the amount of space within the thoracic cavity and thus increasing the pressure within the thoracic cavity. When the rescuer allows the chest to recoil and return to its natural position, the amount of space within the thoracic cavity increases, thus decreasing the pressure within the thoracic cavity. These constant changes in pressure within the thoracic cavity create a vacuum effect whereby blood is essentially pulled into the heart. The more blood that is allowed to enter the heart, the better the cardiac output. That is why optimal CPR performance is so important. Push hard, push fast, allow full chest recoil. When the rescuer does not compress at the proper depth, cardiac output is decreased. When the rescuer does not compress at the proper rate, cardiac output is decreased. And when the rescuer does not allow full chest recoil, cardiac output is decreased. Push hard, push fast, allow for full chest recoil. Also, do not hyperventilate. Hyperventilation causes an excessive increase in pressure within the thoracic cavity. This will inhibit the heart's ability to fill with blood and thereby cause a significant decrease in cardiac output. Hyperventilation will be represented this time. As you can see, the heart is inhibited and filling with blood and cardiac output is being decreased. Now we will stop hyperventilating. The heart is allowed to fill with blood once again. Cardiac output is optimized.